So, we switch our line right around the corner. You would think but that free to play games that are online only would try to stay away from the Switch. Hi-Rez and Epic apparently did not get this memo and have promptly put Pil Paladins and Fortnite on Switch. Now, like I said, these are free to play games. You can get, you can just pick them up and play them whenever you want because they're free to play. But here's the problem with Nintendo with Switch Online. That's going to trip me out. I'm just going to call it Nintendo Online. That's not my for what be beak. Whenever, because whenever the next thing comes out, if they try to decide to keep this, it's going to be changed to something else. So I'm just going to, going to call it Nintendo Online. The problem with Nintendo Online is that it's it's going to make these free-to-play online games no longer free-to-play. You have to pay $20 in order to play these games. And I feel like these like free-to-play games like this are going to literally get destroyed on the Switch. Because, let's look at this from, business, from a consumer perspective. Yes! I could play, pay twenty dollars a year, because that's that's the total you have to pay for a year. Again, not not much, but again, compared to competitions and where these games are originating from, it's not really a big shocker why P PCs are often considered the master race. Race, sorry. It. Again, $20, $60, just to play these games that are originally free on PC, where the only thing you have to do is buy internet connection. I feel like these sort of games are going to suffer heavily on consoles. Sure, the Switch is popular. Sure, the Xbox and PS4 is popular. Sure. But again, Fortnite, Paladins, these are free to play games on Steam. You can literally pick them up and buy them. At least I'm pretty sure for I'm not sure about Fortnite, but I'm, I'm not sure about Fortnite, but I'm considering how many pick it up. One can assume it really is free to play. And Paladins, I know for sure it's still play, free to play because I just checked. And plus, it's free to play on Switch, so one would argue why would it be free to play on Switch and not on PC. But this goes back to my original point. How if Nintendo didn't invent Switch Online, thing or created it differently, then perhaps these games would fare a chance. Now I've I've hated Switch Online ever since I've like I've been quiet about this, but as I found out recently, this is basically them locking online features completely. My my interpretation of Switch Online was uh, optional thing that allows you to play online on the go. Essentially being an LTG or 4G plan, but for the Switch, it's not that case. You literally, you, you either buy Nintendo Switch, you, uh, Switch Online, Nintendo Online, whatever you want to call it, or you don't play online, period. Again, people are just shrugging at $20, and I'm like, Guys, it was once free. Like, this, and it's like, this, Nintendo has no reason to be, to be basically asking for money like this. They have no reason, other than the fact it's pu it's out of pure greed. Because the Switch has been doing amazing. The Switch has, doing, has been doing amazing and compared to the Wii U. Heck, so I think I swear, like, it's already made up, but if we use faults. So, this is just Nintendo basically being more gre asking for more than what they already got. And I'm, I'm applauded because I think it's just that it's Nintendo so, and it's so cheap that nobody really cares. But again, like, you give any company an inch, they're going to run a mile with this. What's to stop them from, like, making this ex more expensive in the future? I mean, it's already $20 for one person and 35 for a family plan. 
So, again, it's one third of the way to being basically a year subscription for Xbox or PS4, from what I remember back, being just $60. And it's already, ha it's like already past the, six the halfway point for family pa plan. So it's just like, why, why is nobody at an uproar? Because they're locked a lot, not only are they locked online, they're locking, they're locking cloud, they're locking the cloud off, off uh, with it. Like, with how much function is that, they're basically locking off unless you don't have Switch, Switch Online? It goes to show how low confidence they have. And then you come to free-to-play games. Free-to-play games that they, like, these companies want to expand and get on these, on these, like, I'm basically a portable console, like a handheld console, and they want to do this. The problem is, is in that, is that nobody's going to want to play it in 20, in like, two to three months when Switch Online rolls out, because it's no longer free. It's no longer free. It costs you, like, for somebody who, want, who just purely buys it, the Switch for Fortnite, or purely plays for Paladins now? Granted, Paladins is, is currently 30 bucks, but again, this is compared to the fact that it's, they say that it's going to be free later on. So, Paladins for free, and Fortnite for free, for now, but when Switch Online rolls out, that's no longer going to be free. Those games are dependent on online. And now you, you, they're basically saying you have to shell out $20 in order to play these games. What's, what about people who, who likes to play Nintendo, get Nintendo stuff online for single player only, but found these games on PC and want to play them on Switch? They're going to shell out $20 for these supposed free-to-play games. So, the, like, free-to-play is going to be, like, for any free-to-play online game, if it's not, if it's, if the online functions aren't, if, it, if the game, like, the only way a free-to-play game can survive on the Switch now is if the free-to-play game is off, it's offline, because that's truly free. But for online free-to-play games, or free-to-play games that have online features, that's, they're going to cost you 20 bucks. And sure, you just pay, it's just one, 20 bucks and you can play whatever, but again, comparing to what we have now and what Nintendo has been doing, that's still 20 bucks. And this is compared to just going on PC and playing it for free, straight up. You don't have to pay 20 bucks just to play a, like a year and then have to replay pay that 20 bucks. Or do monthly or three months or whatever they have, whatever. I think it's like five dollars for a month, eight or possibly ten for three, and then twenty for. I want to say twenty for a year. Pretty sure it's year, and then you got family plan, which is thirty-five. But again. Like, Switch Online, I I feel like I'm the only one who's saying this, but Switch Online is basically going to destroy online players. Because people people aren't going to want to have, have to pay $20 for, like, how many, like, how many games in, in, like, I guess this is going to change with Pokemon coming and other games trying to, coming to the Switch. But again, you got Pokemon. Like, how many mainstream, mainstream po um, Nintendo games actually have online? I mean, you got Mario's shoe in, because I'm pretty sure that's online. But in order to do that, like, a lot of stuff is free right now. So what's, what? I guess what I'm trying to say is, and it's like, again, I'm trying to stay in front of the point, but with these videos, because I want to try to be more precise with these videos, rather than go on a tangent. But my point I'm trying to get across is, 
these Paladins and Fortnite aren't going, like, in a few months, the Nintendo servers are going to be dead. Because nobody's going to want, like, for people who play Nintendo, who play Smash and stuff, they're going to want to buy this. But for people who just are hopping on, because, you know, people who are casual gamers who don't never play Nintendo stuff, but just hop by to play some Fortnite and play some Paladins, in a few months, those people are going to be gone. So only people who are li like, again, I don't even know. I don't even know if I'm gonna buy it. Like, I don't even know if I'm gonna have a Switch by the end of this year. Like, I might just straight up sell my Switch if things keep rolling this way. But again, this base, the Switch, Switch Online is supposed to target core Nintendo fans, people who play nothing but Nintendo stuff. Okay. But yet you have these casual games meant for like PC or other stuff, and you have them going to be put on the Switch, and yet we're like two to three months away from having Switch Online. So all these casuals who only got the Switch to play these games are either going to shell out twenty dollars a year to continue playing these games, or go back to PC. And just continue playing it online for free. Period. So. Yeah. The channel Switch Online is basically. Go and again. I'm not saying. Like. Here's the thing. When I say this. A lot of people give me gripe. I get gripe for saying. Oh well. Ox Xbox and, PC and Sony's been doing. Um, Microsoft and Sony's been doing this for years. Yes. They have. If I. As. As far as I remember, they did it as soon, as soon as Xbox 360 and PS4, which is 2007, when the internet, when online became, came, blah, when online became popular. That was a decade ago. Nintendo's been around as long, if not longer, than these two, and yet only now are they doing this subscription thing. Rather than being hopping on the bus as soon as they announced the Wii. Hold on, sorry. But it's like... Like... Besides online... Like... How many Nintendo... Like... As a guy who don't play play a lot of Nintendo online stuff, this is for me. If you are that guy, then have then get then have fun playing these kind of games. But for people who are fans of Paladins, who are play, fans of Fortnite, blah, Fortnite and Paladins, who are coming on this uh, Switch train to play these games for free, or free for Paladins case, but in a few months, but free for Fortnite right now. That freedom is going to go away real fast, and th those servers are, about to, are going to become barren because the Switch Online. Again, like, you're basically playing 20, 20, like, again, I feel like this is also going to affect Smash and other stuff. And I'm, like, the only one who's advocating against this, and sure, it's not that bad of a deal. But anything that isn't free, when it was free for the past decade, when it came to, like when it came to the Wii, when it came to the 3DS, when it came to the Wii U, it was free. Online was something that was a free thing. Now Nintendo expects you to pay for it. And it's just this thing that comes out of left field. It's like, why now? Why not back when the when this was a popular thing? Why are you only now hopping on this train? Other than the fact you want to make more money. Again, I feel like that's the only reason why this this function even exists. Because this is Nintendo wanting seeing green and wanting more of it. So now they want to charge their consumers twenty dollars a year at most to thirty five for a family. If you have multiple switches. Just just to play online and for like PC games 
this is basically going to ruin a lot of support for the Switch. Because it's like, yeah, I could, I could pay $20 to play this game for free. But I can just go and play for free on PC. This is going to damage Nintendo on, in the long run. And to be honest, I don't think Nintendo can handle any more damage than they've already created. But yeah, that's basically it. Sorry for going on the long ramble. I just feel like this is something that needs to be discussed more often. Because it's like, we are losing something that was once free. And that's been free for the past, te the past decade. And now Nintendo just wants us to pay for it. Cheap? Sure! Does it lessen the that doesn't does it really does it lessen the um, blowback? Sure, but is is it still of something that should be like hammered into them that you guys are pointing this out of left field, and it's not really a lot a lot to do on it. Again, I'm just saying this for the sake of saying it. You guys agree or disagree? Leave a like and comment below. And that will be it for this, guys. Um, I'm, I'm going to try and make a bit another video later today, if not tomorrow. I sort of got sidetracked because stuff happened this morning. And I wasn't exactly in the mood to make the video I wanted to make. But hopefully, later tonight or early tomorrow, I can make that video and talk to you all about what I want to do for the channel moving forward. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.